All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Great Millstone Dallas back again with another class. Uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, we hope you brothers and sisters are edified. Um, as we go into ultimately the blood of Yahweh Shai, you know, as a um, ransom, you know, as a redeeming agent, as a cleansing agent. You know, when you deal with the blood of Yahweh Shai for the nation of Israel, there's so many things in one that we needed, you know, ultimately to, uh, to be brought back into perfection, you know, um, you know, as we go back to our first estate. And when you deal with the blood of Yahweh Shai, um, we just got out of the Day of Atonement. The blood is also an atonement. You know, the bringing back together between, you know, a friendship or a marriage that was broken, an atonement. You know, Kapar, we just got out of the Day of Atonement. You know, the blood of Yahweh Shai is our life. That's how we live. So we're going to start with Revelation uh, 13 and 8 to understand the blood of Yahweh Shai, the cross. As we know, the son of the Most High, um, the, the first spirit created you know, in the beginning, you know, the word of the Most High came into the earth as it is promised in the Holy Scriptures. As a matter of fact, somebody get uh, Isaiah 9 and 6. Or is it 6 and 9 where it says uh, a child is born? Yeah, nine, yeah Isaiah 9. Yeah, it's Isaiah 9 and 6. It says, uh, for unto us a child is born. Right. Unto us a child, a son is given. Right, unto us a child is born. So Yahweh Shai had to be born into the earth in human flesh so that he can grow up, all right? And once he reached a particular age, he <laughs> was the sacrificial lamb, the, the, the atonement, the sacrifice. His blood is what ultimately makes peace, all right, between the nation of Israel and the Most High. And he had to be born into the earth and undergo things, do things, endure things, you see? And that was his mission, because as Adam, we know he failed. As Solomon, we know he failed. So as Yahweh Shai, the blood is centered around obedience, <laughs> all right, and ultimately giving up the very life you have in this flesh, you know, for the greater good of the elect, and that's what Yahweh Shai did. Okay, keep going. So unto us a child is born. The word was made flesh. Mm -hmm. See that? Yep. <laughs> the word was made flesh. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to start over. Isaiah 96, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Mm. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, mm -hmm. and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Right. The Everlasting Father. And in, in the ancient world, Father was associated with what you were great at. He's the father of making oils. He's the father, just like Jake does that today. All right? The king of this, the goat. Right. You know, right. ultimately, the father, he is a father. Under the father, Yahweh Shai is patriarch. a father. He's a patriarch. There you go. And he redeemed us back. Right. He was our kinsman redeemer. We right. were adopted back through him. was making Boom. that father figure to the elect. He's the father of conquering death. Yeah, right. He's he the first to many brethren. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's the death. Yeah. He's yeah. the father of the new song. He's he's he got it. Yeah. He's Kept the one. Completely. Because the father yeah. is like, he's he's synonymous perfect with at the pioneer. That. Yeah. Father yeah. is a pioneer. So people see that and say, see the most high came down in, in, in flesh. No. No. Man. He sent his son. Yep. Right. Even Simon from the Maccabees. When their portions, when Matthias gave them the portions when he was dying, he made Simon like a father figure to those brothers when he died. He said that. Mm -hmm. Just as another example. Right, know. right. So let's get Revelation 13 and right. 8. <clears throat> it's Revelation 13 and 8. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth. Start at 7. All right. Let's just get that real quick. Revelation 13 and 7. It says, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Who's just speaking of us? Speaking about the Edomite. Esau Edom, the beast system, you know, having dominion over us and ruling and our only way out <laughs> would be through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Right. Everybody else is getting ready to be taken by the snares of the NWO. The only ones that's going to get victory over these things are the elect. Right. All right. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. Go ahead. Verse 8. 
and all that dwell upon the earth Doesn't shall the scripture say he's going to redeem us? He's going to save us from our enemies? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that means we got to be in some kind of danger. Right. Right. <clears throat> Go ahead. Verse 8. Revelation 13 and 8. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, mm -hmm. whose names are not written in the book of life <laughs> of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Right. See, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So the most high, as he, even before he created the earth, he created... You know, the first fruit spirits, you know, first he created his son, of course. All right. And then he created the first fruit spirits. You see, and when they would come into the earth, they would all be tied to assignments. But the blood that was shed by Yahweh Shai was shed from the foundation of the world. That's how we are chosen from the foundation of the world. Ephesians, somebody get Ephesians one and four. So the, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world, meaning the Lord already. He already, from the foundation of the earth, the Most High already had <laughs> it, it, it planned out that his son was going to have to be a sacrifice to bring his people back unto him within this whole movie he wrote. <laughs> Man, I'm going to start at verse 3. Where you at? Ephesians 1. <clears throat> yep, yep. This is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father. Of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai. Mm. Which his blood, it's like, you know, his blood is part of those blessings. That's it. It ties, it's, it's the access mm -hmm. the, right. the, 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 to the promise that was given unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His blood gives you access back to that. Absolutely. It does so much for us. Straight up. It gives us faith. That's right. Yeah. It gives yeah. you the Holy Spirit of, of, right. of promise. Mm -hmm. it, it, it covers you, it cleanses yeah, you. That's the access, absolutely. It's the, 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 and that was heavy what he did, man. Mm -hmm. and we can't downplay it now. That's right. uh, read, you, God, I'll get back to it. It says, verse 4 According as he hath chosen us, Salaki, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. See, we're not condemned. We are able to then conquer death. With that type of ability, you're able to now conquer death. Mm -hmm. You know? Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to himself. Right. The blood adopts us back to the Father. Yep. Everything is tied to this blood in some shape, form, or fashion for us. Go mm -hmm. ahead. According to the good pleasure of his will. Woo! Chosen us from the soul. Man. These were particular spirits chosen from the found. So it's the game is rigged. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right, <laughs> it's like when you uh, when you create player, when you create your own team on the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You make you make you making your team impossible to beat. Right, mm -hmm. that's what the Lord doing with the elect. Start with your house shot. Right, he's making a team. He's building a team that's impossible to beat. Right, but you, look, no matter no matter how far into forever you go, this team will not be beat. Right, yeah. Yeah, it was written from the foundation of the earth that they would get the victory <clears throat> within this story, the word, the volume of the book, which yeah. we believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really a heavy chapter going into this, this whole first chapter. But when we continue, it says in verse 6, To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, mm. in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Mm. Just like you said, access Man. to all those heavenly things through his blood. Right. Mm -hmm. Grace. That's right. See, grace, you know. <laughs> This is what the Lord wants. Yep, access to grace where we can operate outside of the regulations of the law. Yeah. But still offer up a sacrifice. That's right. That's You're given right. that access through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. If you believe in the Bible and the story and the, the first covenant and you understand what you're a part of, Yahweh Shai is important. Right. <laughs> you have to understand Yahweh Shai's importance to be that sacrifice. He's our high priest. <laughs> yep. He's the, uh, the the unspotted lamb. Passover. He's the Passover. He's the morning sacrifice. He's the eve because they they took him in the morning. He was sacrificed in the evening. He's the word. He's the word. He fulfilled the law for us to be uh, perfect to the Most High. Okay, and through that blood, Lord willing, we're going to be saved from wrath. Lord willing, we were hand because being hand picked comes with that. <laughs> being handpicked from the foundation of the earth comes with being beamed up, getting the spiritual power, all of that. Yep. Okay, so 
Let's go. Somebody get John the seventeenth chapter. I got it. You want to start at the top? Uh. Let's see, John seventeen. Let's see. Yeah, you can start at the top. All right. <clears throat> this is John chapter seventeen, verse one. It says, "These words spake Yahweh shy, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son." That thy son also may glorify thee. See? <laughs> he had to die. So that the Lord can show his power in rising him from the dead. Go ahead. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. See, he knew that his set what he did was for the purpose of the first fruit spirits being brought back. All right, to their perfection. And able to rule this earth and do, you know, uh, the things that are pleasing unto the Lord. We all, as the sons of God, had to go through a proving point, you know. And his son, that's what his life was about, to be proved as an obedient son of the Most High. And he's under, he's basically coming to closure with that. Like, <laughs> all right, I'm, I did what, what you told me to do. Now you got to do what you said you was going to do. You know, bring them back to where I am. Go ahead. Yep. Verse three, it says, and this uh, and this is uh, is life eternal that they make that. All right. John 17, three, it says, and this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast sent. Mm -hmm. I have glorified thee on the earth. Mm. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. See, I didn't mess up this time. Yep. <laughs> All right. I didn't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, yep. go ahead. And now, O oh father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory, which I had with thee before the world was. <laughs> That's what it was all about. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the, that immortal estate. All right. And through him. Now we have a chance to get back to that immortal state. Right. Go ahead. I have manifested thy name unto them, which thou gavest me. Out of the world, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now go to verse uh, 24. All right. Then we'll uh, move on. John chapter 17, verse 24. It says, Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, mm -hmm. that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to say something? Proverbs, yeah. uh, was yeah. that, uh, Proverbs. Yeah. Uh, where it talk about he was uh, daily the Lord's delight. Yeah. During that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you when you yeah. think of, when you read that in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? You think about that father and son relationship. You right. know what I'm saying? The heavenly father spoke into existence the perfect son. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he taught him what he taught him, and he showed him what he showed him to prepare him to be able to run everything. Because right. after Yahushua made that sacrifice, it says all was put up under his feet. Right. All things were made by him and for right. him. So everything that he was taught, everything that he was taught in the heavens is now starting to play out. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, somebody get John 19 and 30. I need it. All right. This is uh, St. John 19 and 30. When Yahweh shot, therefore, have received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. It is finished. Uh-huh. It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. Right. And this is when he was on the cross. That's the blood. Now, we're going to look up this word in the Greek, finished. All right. The word is te, oh, okay. teleo. 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 All right. All right. You got uh, to bring to a close, to finish, <laughs> to end, mm -hmm. pass, finished, to perform, execute, complete, fulfill, mm -hmm. so that the thing done corresponds to what has been said. See, now, our way back to the Father was through that blood, but the Lord ultimately wrote that before it happened. Yahweh Shah's purpose was to come into the earth and fulfill that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. It's just like it's just like writing yeah. a movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When a, when a director puts a movie together, puts a script, he has an idea of who he wants to play this role. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I want Denzel to play the equalizer. 
Right. Right? I want Will Smith to play it, it emancipated, whatever. But when, when Yahweh put together this, this movie, he starred Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the star of this movie. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the director gets all the glory for putting together such a beautiful show. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Get some more. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, real, it real. says, uh. Hold up. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, it's just real quick going into that word finish. Uh -huh. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Just made me think of that precept he said is finished. That was the moment where, you know, it was tied to our faith as well. The author and finish of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down on the right hand side of the throne of the Most High. And it just ties right into that, that word finished going into it. He said it is finished. You know, without that act or with that act that say being done, that gave us everything that we have right now. It right. made mention of a being on the cross going mm -hmm. into that. You that's know? right. That's right. Through that act, that's how we received this faith. And through that act, that's how our faith, our faith is also finished. Mm -hmm. Got it right. All right. Keep going. All right. It says to perform, execute, complete, fulfill, so that the thing done corresponds to what has been said. The order. The order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the yep. order was him for, for him to come down and, and, and be obedient to that sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was the order, and that's why the whole time he was on the earth, he was like, "I'm about my father's business." Right. That's it. I'm here, like, look, look, I'm not on that other shit. I've already, I've already experienced all of the, the women. I've already experienced the riches. I've saw what disobedience led to. Now is my time as the son of the Most High to come down here in the flesh and fix this mess I started. Right. That's what Yahweh Shai did as Yahweh Shai, as Adam, he messed up, as as uh, as Solomon. He messed up. Those were the two times where he was at the head of our nation. Like at the head of the sons of God completely. <laughs> you know, and he messed up. He fumbled the bag both times. I would say the first time he was a priest, the second right. time he was a king. Right. We talk about we're going to be uh, we gonna be kings and priests in the future. Right. So the priesthood failed, you know what I'm saying? The kingdom failed. There you go. You know, and it was all through disobedience. You know what I'm saying? The first time the Lord came, it was it was the law, statutes, and commandments right. that was breathed into him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then the second time, all that understanding, all that knowledge, was, he was getting right hand and left hand. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was it, was, it increased each time to the point now he got it right as Yahweh shot. And then when he comes back at his return, it's gonna be the, the, the perfect body, the, the the total package is gonna be on the earth mm -hmm. at that point. You know what I'm saying? Which was the original intent, but we had to go through it first. Mm -hmm. You, now go down to where it says to pay and then read. You and the. Oh, yeah, at? I'm still here. Okay, yeah, and then. I'm in this one right here. If you think it's some more. Oh, know, yeah. yeah okay. Right, well, uh, uh, after order, it says command. He was commanded to come down here and do mm -hmm. this. It says with special reference to the subject matter to carry out the contents of a command. Woo! Right? He, it is finished. <laughs> and he was telling his father on John 17, like, I've glorified thee. I did, I did it. <laughs> yep. You know, you proud of me? You know what I'm saying? Bring me back now. Yep. Do what you said you was going to do. Like, bring me back to my immortal estate so that ultimately I can act as high priest from the heavens and guide the elect through the spirit to the finish line. Ooh. Go ahead. With reference also to the form to do just as commanded mm -hmm. and generally involving the notion of time mm. to perform the last act completes a process to, to accomplish, to fulfill, to pay. Mm. Of tribute to pay, of tribute. Do you want to say something? Uh, no, I was just saying that's. I mean, essentially, that's prophecy. You know, yeah. Because if, uh, if you, if you, if the Quran was to read up, it says to to say to do that was said was uh, to be done. Loosely paraphrased. And John, oh, yeah. I read it again. And John? No, I think in, in, in the, the definition. definition. Okay. Yeah, it says so that the thing done corresponds to what has been said. Prophecy. Mm, prophecy. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> good catch. Good catch. Because I didn't even yeah. think of that. But yeah, because that's, yeah, that's a good catch. Because right. Isaiah 53, yeah, right. he had to fulfill that. Yeah, right. Ezekiel 37, we got to fulfill that. Mm, that's right. <laughs> he said in 2 Samuel, yeah. he should be chastening the stripes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So right. He had right. to fulfill that, you know? Right. That's why if I make, that's why, hey, how was shot fulfilled the law? When you read about it, and then in Second Ezra two, when the crowns are being placed on the elect, and he asked the question saying, "Who are these?" He said, "These are also they that fulfilled the law." Right. So it's all being fulfilled. It was written up in his book 
Yahweh Shah fulfilled it, and we're following yeah. suit. Yeah, people look at fulfilling the law more from a 613 right. Right. Exactly. perspective right. to say that. It's, it's the fulfilling the law is on a higher level exactly. than that, man. It's right. the... the, the to be obedient to what the Lord has ordained you to be, like Absolutely. to right. do, and yeah, you might not even be in position to deal with every single yeah. law. Um, yeah, six hundred and thirteen situations right. within your yeah. lifetime. <laughs> nah, <laughs> man. You're right. He was, even even Yahweh yeah. said that the, uh, uh, he said it to the disciples. He was like, "Look, just uh, he, he even brought it down to mm -hmm. the Ten Commandments. Right. Then he even brought it down to look, just don't do none to nobody that you would want them to do to you." Right. And right. within that, you fulfill the law. You fulfill the law. <laughs> right. Yeah, Jake Cap laws and marking them off like jail days right, in prison. Exactly. <laughs> I got two more days. I got two more laws, and then I'll be complete. No, 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 no. No, that's not it. Yeah. 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 How was Shai fulfilled the law? He fulfilled the command. He fulfilled the order. Mm -hmm. Now, he was perfect in the law. Don't get it twisted. Right. right. Okay? But it's more, it's, it's deeper than that. But. He fulfilled everything we needed under that first covenant. Mm -hmm. We needed a high priest. We needed a mediator. We needed a sacrifice. We needed an altar. We needed uh, blood. Mm -hmm. You know, without without blood, there's no remission of sins. Now read, keep reading down. That was it on it. Yeah, read that, that portion down there. Oh, okay. It says uh, in John 19 and 30, the word means it is finished. Hamashiach sac uh, satisfied Yahweh's justice. By dying for all to pay for the sins of the of the elect. <laughs> to pay for the sins of the elect. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> These sins can never be punished again that would violate God's justice. Sins can only be punished once, either by a, uh, either by a substitute or by yourself. Man. So that's what that blood did. Yeah. It Ooh. paid for the sins of the elect. It's a down payment. It's a ransom, as we're going to get into. Right. Um, right. You know, well, well, uh, Colossians two when talking about his nails, the, uh, the yeah, written ordinances he got nailed to the yeah. cross, mm -hmm. yeah. So that basically delivered us <laughs> when he was uh, put upon the cross. He right, was trying to finish, you know, that delivered us at that point. Right, yep. right, right. There you go. That was, and that's and that's that's another reason why it's it, it's not it don't, it don't make sense to beat yourself up. You know what I'm saying? You fight to be one of those spirits that was at the foundation of the world. Right. So if you are one of those spirits, before you did anything, you was already justified. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So when you do fall and slip in the uh in, in the flesh, you know what I'm saying, you fight to get back to that. Right. So that's what'll get you back on track, rather right. than beat yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord already died for your sins. So the chastening the chastening that we get now, you know what I'm saying, is to build us up. Right. More than anything else. Right. He already said we already you know what I'm saying? He already he already took care of that. Now he's building us up to just be made hard, to be endured. You right. Know? Now, what's that scripture where the, the temple, the veil rent? Uh, Matthew the temple, the veil and the temple rent. Let's see. Matthew 15. Matthew 27. Hold on. Matthew 15. 27 and 51. That's probably in multiple places. Yeah, Hold up. It would would it be in and, fifteen? And, and the veil in the temple rent is in fifteen. Oh, Matthew, read my Luke. It's in Matthew twenty seven and fifteen. Mark, my bad, my bad. Oh, all right, what's the hell is yeah, yeah, one place in the gospel though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So which one are we gonna get? Now, Mark fifteen is the one, the one that worded it the way seven, you just said it. Okay. Yeah. Matthew fifteen and uh, Mark fifteen and thirty eight. Well, read that. Read that yeah. shit. It says, and the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Right. That that was through that blood. Yeah. That that all that gave us access to the Holy Spirit. So so somebody get uh, Ephesians one and thirteen. So the blood is so many things in one. It can't blood can't be put in a box. All right. And in a sense of us being redeemed out of physical captivity, it's going to be through that blood. When Yahweh returns, us being redeemed is tied to the blood. Real quick, somebody get uh, Revelation five and nine. Real quick. This is, our this is where a lot of people get mixed up saying we're already in a new covenant because the blood was to lead us to the path to perfection. Right. Right. You know, it, but it covers every facet of us getting to that perfection. Mm -hmm. You see, <laughs> as we go from glory to glory, it's all through the blood. The fact that we can offer up a sacrifice is through the blood. Grace is right. through the blood. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Ephesians 1 and 7 right there. It says that through his blood we receive the richness of his grace. There you go. I got revelation, though. 
It says that you want, yeah, get Revelation, but get that too, and then we'll jump down. No, nah, read, read that Revelation. This is uh, Revelation five and nine. It says, and they sung a new song, saying, "Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, mm -hmm. for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood." By thy blood. Out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Has that happened yet? No. No. Oh man, that next verse <laughs> ten. See, go ahead. It, yep, go ahead. Verse 10, and has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. See, that hadn't happened yet. So it's the blood that also redeems us out of physical captivity. That's right. That's right. Bring it out. You see? Uh, uh, real quick, Zephaniah 9 and 11. I believe that's it. Zephaniah, no. Oh, Zechariah. Zechariah 9 and I think so. Yeah, this is it. Yep. Zechariah, did you want to read them out there? Yeah. Uh, Zechariah 9 and 11. It says, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, <laughs> have sent forth thy prisoners mm -hmm. out of the pit wherein is no water. Woo! I'm going to read it in the NLT. Uh -huh. Zechariah 9 and 11. Because of the covenant I made with you, sealed with blood, I will free your prisoners from the death of in a waterless dungeon, That's America. Right. That's right. That's right. See? Yeah. It's the blood. It's the blood of the covenant. That seals us out of literal captivity as well. Out of the captivity of these bodies, it does so much for That's us. Right. That's right. Like, like Yahweh Shah is important, bro. Mm -hmm. And what he did was wow. big. Straight up. Straight up. Okay, Ephesians 1 and 7. Come. This is real quick. I'll read it again. This is back in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. It says... Uh, you know, I'm going to start at 6 actually And it says to the praise of the glory of his grace Wherein he hath made us Accepted in the beloved All this is through his blood that we received that grace mm -hmm. As you may mention it's a pathway To perfect us in the kingdom When we're delivered mm -hmm. but That blood is what aided us in our grace period That we're in right now you There know, you to go. Get to that second covenant right. Verse 7 In whom we have redemption through his blood The forgiveness of sins According to the riches of his grace. Woo! So that blood is tied to the riches of that grace. Grace. You know, you said it's the access. Right. Grace is important because as Israelites, you were bound to that covenant. Mm -hmm. So you needed another way. Right. You, you couldn't have, we couldn't have never been back perfect. We wouldn't have never got to the promised land through the law. Mm -hmm. You know, so it has, it's, 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 it's founded upon predestination, right. which is tied to the blood of Yahweh Shai, which is so much. It can go forever, man. It's like an endless topic now that we really getting into the meat of it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, nah, real quick, the Elder Mike Allah got something. Uh, Romans 8 and 23, and we believe uh, in the NLT slide, and we believe it's also grown, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of, of future uh, glory. That's the Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Comforter, yeah. you know? Uh, they, they were a foretaste, if I could just look it up real quickly, because it kind of bring light on what you did right out. Uh, they were a foretaste, and the, the meaning of the foretaste is a sample or suggestion of something that lies ahead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this understanding is, you know, a foretaste of, of and what we have amongst us is a foretaste of the will of the kingdom. And we're going to see that the glory of the kingdom will be. Uh, all the way into that new covenant. Mm -hmm. uh, back to us though, it says, uh, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory, for we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with an eager hope for the for the day when the Most High will give us our full rights as His adopted children. Mm. Amen. Full rights. The full rights comes with the new bodies, perfection, you know? Right. Yep. Including the new bodies. There you go. Uh, he has uh, promised us. Mm. And I got this word redemption in the uh, Greek. Apolutrosis. Hold up. Strong's G, 629. Apolutrosis. Apolutrosis. Right. It says a releasing effect by payment of ransom. Ransom, a releasing effect by payment of ransom. Right. Now, what is a ransom? It's 
exchange behavior. Yeah. Let's look it up. Shit. Hey, that shows you that you know, Yahweh shot curious from the curious too. Right. From, from the curses too, because one of the curses was that no man shall buy you. That's, that's right. Right. That's right. right. That's no right. man shall redeem you. Mm -hmm. Boom. And that word redeem in the Hebrew is kana, mm -hmm. which it mean it says to release from slavery. Yep. Yep. To okay. redeem your people out of slavery. That's right. So no man could do that. Only him. So he's the father of that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I said it says ransom, a sum of money, all right, or other payment demanded or paid for the release of a prisoner. Oh, and, uh, six, uh, so, so you by thy blood, we just read in Zephaniah, by thy blood, I'm gonna release those prisoners mm -hmm. out of the pit where there's no water. Yeah. That blood is a ransom. Peter tells you that. I got that right. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Go ahead. Maybe this is the one, but I know this yeah, first Peter is like first Peter's one or something like that. I got first Peter three. Okay. It goes right into that. Okay. This is the book of First Peter, chapter three, and I'm gonna start at verse 18. And it says, For Yahweh Hamashiach also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to the most high, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. And that's just for the unjust is that exchange mm -hmm. when that ransom that had to take place. Mm -hmm. And it says, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Mm. Which is going into captivity. The elect that were in captive, the, the, the us. That's right. We were the, the we're captive to that uh, bondage of, of, of imperfection mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the chains of darkness, these bodies. Yep. He came down into the earth in one of those bodies and preached to, to, the, to That's them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I got something for you real quick. It's uh, 1 mm. Corinthians 6 and uh, 19. It says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, uh, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. Mm. Ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit, which are Yahweh's. Mm. You know? There you go. First Peter 1 and 18. You, you going to say something? Oh, no, no, no. That was, I just yeah. wanted to read that. First Peter 1 and 18 goes right into everything that we're saying. Come this is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18. And it says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, mm -hmm. as silver and gold. And ransoms usually is money. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's, it's usually is money. Dollars. Right. Usually there's money tied to how, you know, how much money you're going right. to give me to release right. this dirty nigga. Yeah, right <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. That's all it boils down to. Or whatever possession that's so important unto you, you, you got to give me something good for this. Yeah. So read that again. Come, First Peter 1 and 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. So your house eyes blood is more precious than that. Mm -hmm. You got it. From your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, mm -hmm. but with the precious blood of your house as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. That's what I'm saying. You was bought with a price. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, was the only, that was the only form of money, Yahweh Shai's blood that was gonna redeem us from this curse. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. Like the uh like the elder was saying uh, in the uh no man shall buy you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What nobody else gonna be able to do that. What nobody else's blood gonna be enough. Yep. And look what he had to endure. Yeah. It was, it's just the blood. Bro, all he, got the sins, yeah. he got beat. He right. got beat. All the sins of Israel. When we was reading about the scapegoat, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When Aaron put his hands on the scapegoat, he would confess all the mm -hmm. sins of Israel. On that goat's head. Right, that's right. All the sins. Now, that's a lot of sins for Israel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Individually. He, oh. He's the scapegoat. You like, know? like, But real quick, this is uh, Isaiah 53 and 10. It says, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. That was pleasing to the Lord for his son to go into the earth and fulfill that. Mm -hmm. Yet it pleased the Lord to, uh, man. Let me read it in NLT. It says, but it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him in grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life and the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. That's heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> mm, man. See, All put up on See? It, the Lord that was pleasing unto the Lord. People look at that. You know, there's memes, you know. How could God beat his own son and be looked at as a hero and this and this and that? Why would you trust a God that tortures his own son? Well, you don't understand the volume of the book. No See, when you understand the volume of the book, that blood is everything to you. 
what does it say in uh, Peter's? Uh, to, to you, to the rest, he's a stumbling block. To you, mm -hmm. I forget how it's worded, First but unto you, he's he's everything. Mm -hmm. You got something? No. Okay. Say he's the fulfillment of the law. As he said in Matthew 5, he can come and destroy the law, but yeah. to fulfill it. He can't fulfill it. We couldn't, we couldn't yeah. obtain the, the, yeah. the law. Yeah. You know, so we needed him. Right. He did, he did his job. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, First Peter's real quick. First Peter 2? Uh, 1 and 18. Oh, 1 and 18. Okay, it's back in 1 Peter 1 and 18. Oh, so that's did we, all, we already read that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, that's that's yeah, yeah, that was it. That, that's, that's the spirit that Peter's saying this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now Ephesians 1 and 13. I'll get that. This is Ephesians 1 and 13. It says in Salakia, in, in whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth, mm -hmm. the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That's another aspect of the blood. It gives us access when the temple was rent. It gave us access to the Holy Spirit to act as priest on earth. G code. You see, uh, you know, we're no longer subject to a physical temple, a tabernacle, a mercy seat, and all of these various different things. It could all be fulfilled in Yahweh, which Paul tells you in Hebrews, he is the mercy seat. He broke it down. Yep. Right. He's everything that we needed. He fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the duties in the temple. He's, he fulfilled it all. He did it all, bro. Yeah, yeah, mercy seat. <laughs> yeah everything. everything. Yeah. He's everything, man. He's the covenant. He's the ark of the covenant lies with him. Yep. Volume of the book. Mm -hmm. You know? Written of him. Keep going. Now, but 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 through that, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Now you can be justified by faith. Mm. You see? Yep. That's cool. This is James 1 and 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness. And receive with meekness the engrafted word. Mm. Direct precepts will be read there in Ephesians 1. That's educate. <coughs> that's the true meaning of educate. Because it's already, he already has it in us. Mm, that's right. But we would have to hear it. Absolutely. And it would draw out what was within us. Right. Mm -hmm. That's educate means to draw out what's within. Yeah, that's that's your, right. your pure minds will be stirred back up to mm -hmm. remembrance even though right. you, you knew these things before. That's we right. got to look up this word engrafted. Some spiritual sleep will say us. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Engrafted. In futos, inborn and planted by nature and planted by others' instructions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Most High and planted uh, and instructed us to when we heard this word, yep. we, would, right. we would fulfill that prophecy. You shall hear a word behind you and it shall, you know, mm -hmm. it's already in us, but we would have to hear it. That's right. That's like a, a spiritual Manchurian candidate. You right. Know they triggered the Manchurian candidate. By uh, when you watch that movie, they would trigger the Manchurian candidate by saying his name. He mm -hmm. said his exactly. full name. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when you was unlocked, you was unlocked as your Hebrew name in this point in time. Mm -hmm. Whoever you was in the back in the past, now right. you know what I'm saying. I would say Joe Blow is now. You know what I'm saying? Karachazai. You know. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was he was unlocked to finish his mission. Right. That's now right. you know the the future of America. Now you know right. you're not caught in the circle of all of these, these these lie. Even when we see too much news, eventually we just go to what the scriptures say. Right. We right. have exactly. a comfort, like we have, like it gives you access. It's the Holy Spirit of promise. Read that again, okay. Ephesians one and thirteen. Okay. This is uh, Ephesians one and thirteen. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, mm -hmm. the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Mm. Which, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. See, which is the earnest of our inheritance, the earnest of our inheritance, the Holy Spirit of promise. Now we know we're going to have the land that was promised to our father Abraham. Now we know why America would be ruling. We have access to the understanding of Daniel 7. And now we, we understand we're in a re re revival of Rome. We understand the white man's Esau. We're not, we're freed from the captivity of the lies of this world, the God of this world. We're not free to openly serve our power through the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the comforter. Right. See? That's right. Which is the earnest of our inheritance. Now, this word earnest, all right, the word earnest, we always go into this, is Arabon, all right? It says money which in purchase is given as a pledge or a down payment that the full amount be subsequently paid. A condition has to be met before right. us to get into that promise, basically, like a will, basically. Right. It's executed 
whenever the, the certain party that wrote the will uh, dies or something. Right. right. You know? That's right. Yep. I have the Greek lexicon. It says, the gift of the Holy Spirit, comprising as it does, is both a foretaste and a pledge of future blessedness. Mm -hmm. A foretaste. See, we have the Holy Spirit as a sampler. Right. Like you, you go, you do the full course meal ain't came right. out yet, but they bring the little wings, the celery, yeah. <laughs> you know, right. a little it's bread with the, the vinegar, heavy, huh? Heavy, yeah, the Holy Spirit that we've received in the conditions of what His blood does, it gives you an insight. Like an example, First John. Somebody get First John three. It seals your faith too. Yeah. To wait for the rest of the promise right. to be fulfilled. Right. Right. And you give them a little sample. Now you're going to wait with patience for the rest of the meal, so to speak. Right, right. You know? Now, real quick, I'm a, I got you, Yadaka. Ephesians 4, it says, uh, Ephesians 4 and 30, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Sealed unto the day of redemption. Mm -hmm. By that foretaste. Right. You know? That's right. Right. And that's through the blood. That's through the blood, yo. See, people are looking at the blood. Oh, man, do uh, do the new covenant, that's an aspect of the blood. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's glory to glory. That's right. Right, right. We haven't, we haven't got our full rights no. because we're not ruling. Right. Mm -hmm. full, the, the new covenant is for sovereignty on earth, not to be a secondary citizen. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. All the prophecies, all these things that were written have to be fulfilled right. first before we're transferred into what's Boom. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say from glory to glory mm -hmm. until we're that perfect man. Right. All right. Same the whole the Holy Spirit. We, this is just one glory, brothers. Mm -hmm. yep. We ain't gonna be doing this shit forever. Only you know, putting up you know. Oh man, the white man struck my video. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> purple referee looking nigga pop up telling yeah, you you yeah. got you can't load for a week <laughs> in the new covenant. No, begging for money in the new covenant. Yeah, one body uh, teaching in our spot. Yeah, shit like that's that, not gonna man. happen in the new covenant. Mm -hmm. But through the Holy Spirit, we now have access to understand what we are getting in the future. Right. Which that gives you a faith, that gives you a reason to keep going. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? Just a quick one, real quick, going yep. into this present glory. This is Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 42. And it says, He answered me and said, This present life is not the end where much glory doeth abide. Mm -hmm. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. So that's the point going into it's going to be a transfer of that glory, and that starts through that blood, but that's going to segue into a whole nother glory. Mm -hmm. You know, this present life. Top of that chapter. At the top of that chapter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where it talks about how you gonna, I was saying, how you gonna appreciate the kingdom if you don't go through nothing? Yeah, right. Pretty right. much going going into the straight gate. Mm -hmm. That's that chapter start out with the straight gate. That's yep. Right. That's right. Yep. Yep. So uh, Ephesians, uh, did we finish one and thirteen? I didn't. 14? I finished thirteen. I didn't finish fourteen. Finish, yeah, read fourteen again. Ephesians one and fourteen. It Somebody says, get a uh, First Timothy two and six. It says. I'll, I'll read the end of 13, then go to 14. Ephesians, the end of 1 and 13. Ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, until the praise of his glory. The purchased possession, when we were purchased by that blood, it's a pledge, it's a down payment for the full sum to be paid. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and it's for the full payment, the, the, the fullness of our blessing is to be brought back to our first estate. All right. Um, where we at now? Second Timothy. Yep. Or yep. yep. First Timothy two and six. Oh okay, yeah. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna start at five. First Timothy two and five. It says, "But there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Hamashiach Yahweh Shai." He's our access. Everything leans on him. You need Adam to have uh, uh, Noah, <laughs> Shem. Yep. You know the, our facts. Are, you need. You need. You need Adam for, for everything <laughs> yeah. that you have today. You need Isaac to get the blessing. You know, like we, we lean up on Yahweh Shai for so much, man. He's the mediator. Before Abraham, when Abraham got the blessing, who was around? Melchizedek. Melchizedek. See? He's our access to, the, the, to everything that we, you know, <laughs> that we want. Go ahead. Verse 6, who gave himself a ransom for all mm. to be testified in due time. In due time. All right. I'm going to get that word testified. Testify. Yep. I was just thinking that. Look up ransom too. Yep. 42. Marturian. Martyr. 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 Yeah. 
the man. testimony. A testimony. <laughs> and they overcame him by the word, by, yep. the, by the blood of Yahweh Shai yep. and by the word of their testimony. Yep. Witness to be testified. <sighs> yeah. Yep, and the Greek word is three one four four. Yep, yep. I was just about to, I was just about to tap that. Yeah, <laughs> these things ain't for co yep. coincidence. And when you tap it, the the uh, martus is the mart uh, martus is the word. All right, a witness in a legal sense and historical sense, one who is a spectator of anything, uh, of a contest in ethical sense. Those who, after his example, and what did proved, he what did he see? He was from the beginning. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. He came to the earth to testify of his father. Like, look, you know. Yep. Check this out. It says those who, after his example, have proved the strength and genuineness of their faith mm -hmm. in Hamashiach by undergoing a violent death. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah. yeah yep, yes. Revelation and, 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 twenty. And, yep. And Yahushua did that. Yahushua did that. Right. He mm -hmm. took on a violent death. He took on a violent death because he believed that everything his father told him was going to come to pass. It says he was our ransom, too. I got that word, ransom. <clears throat> In the Greek. Strong G. I just made my eyeballs with 487. 487. Atilutron. 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 It says what is given in exchange for another as the price of his redemption ransom. Right, and we have we been freed out, freed out of prison yet? No. Uh -huh. So that, you know, that, that should give you understanding on that we ain't in the new covenant. Right. Yeah, the blood is going to redeem us. It, 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 we're, we're on the path to the new covenant, but we're not, we ain't, we ain't in it yet. Right. Point blank, right. period. That's right. And the scripture says, now the salvation come after the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuses day and night, you know? That's when salvation will come after all is after all is finished. Right, right. Yeah, he's our redemption price because that's what it says—a redemption yep. price. Yep. In the Strong's. Yep. Isaiah thirty-five and ten. Okay. Somebody else want to do? Isaiah thirty-five and ten. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah thirty-five and ten. It says, um, "And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with mm. songs <laughs> and everlasting joy upon their heads." Mm. They shall obtain and they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Right. And that's what that blood that blood is to get us victory. Mm -hmm. All right. And, 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 and ultimately overcome our enemy, get the kingdom. You know, it's, it, that blood gives us access to, to, to so much. Jeremiah 31 and 11. Can I get that word ransom? It's a different word in Greek. In the Hebrew? Oh. Part of slot in the Hebrew. Yep. You say Jeremiah 31? Mm -hmm. In the uh, 11. It's, it's Padah. And it says to ransom, redeem, rescue, deliver. So, uh, and it says something in the Strong's. Rescue. Yeah, rescue. Yep. <laughs> Redeemed. Uh, it was something in the Strong's. Oh, yeah, it says for an assessed price. Mm. So, he, that's the agreed price to free the captives, basically. That's your Howard Shaw to me, you know? Boom. Mm -hmm. Straight up, you know? You bought with a price. Yep. That's it. And that's that blood. Yep. Um, Jeremiah 31 and 11 It says for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob And ransomed him uh, And ransomed him from the hand of him That was stronger than he Right and remember when he, when before he was born It said you should call his name Yahweh Shah And he shall save, save his people right. from their sins That's right Alright read that again yep. Jeremiah 31 and 11 For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob And ransomed him from the hand Of him that was stronger than he Therefore, they shall come and sing in the height of Zion and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord mm. for wheat and for wine and for oil and for the young uh, and for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden and they shall not sorrow any more at all. And that's through Yahweh Shai that we get that. That's right. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 31 and 11 and 12. through 12. Okay. Wow. Yep. Should uh, get a few more um, Romans five and eleven. This is, uh, Romans five, verse eleven. Uh, you want to start up? Yeah, if you can, whatever you, whatever you think. Okay, we start at uh, verse nine. It says, "Sorry, verse eight. It says God commanded His love toward us 
in that while we were yet sinners, Mashiach died for us. Mm. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Right. Being, being so much more justified Ooh. by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath. The wrath hasn't come yet Man. through him. So when Yahweh Shah returns, being able to be beamed up, covered from the, the, the perils and all of that, that's through the blood of Yahweh Shah. Yep. And that's going to redeem us out of all of these lands. Because remember, it was told to Abraham, your seed is going to be as the sand of the, 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 from the east to west to north. Like you're going to have like billions of descendants, basically. All right. But in thy seed, all right, shall they what? Be redeemed, be, be, be brought back. Be blessed. That seed is Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Man. That seed is Yahweh Shai. That's the seed. And Isaac shall thy seed be called. That's right. 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 See? Mm -hmm. That gives us access to the blessing that was given unto Jacob, that was given unto the 12 tribes. <laughs> right. Man, <bro. laughs> He's the one. He did it all. What more you want from him? <laughs> Man. <laughs> right, you know? Go ahead. This is Romans 5 and 10. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to Yahweh by the death of his son, mm. much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Woo! Man, saved by his life. <laughs> Man. Conquer death and save. We, we, we're going to be set because salvation is being entered into that new body. That's 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 life. That's when we live again. When we're brought back to our first estate. The, the scriptures say the house of David shall be as God. That word God is Allah. We're going back to that original estate. <coughs> In the beginning. You know, you got something, Shar? God. This is second Ezra chapter seven. And I'm going to start at verse 28. It says, For my son Yahweh Shai shall be revealed. With whom? Salakia. With those that be with him. Second Ezra 7 and what? Yeah, 7 and 28. It says, For my son Yahweh Shai shall be revealed with those that be with him. And they that remain shall rejoice with him 400 years. Mm -hmm. And that's going into the time here where he was actually, you know, birthed as he was prophesied to come. And it says, And after these years shall my son Yahweh Shai die. That all men may have life. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm going to jump down to verse 34. And what's the 400 years again? Well, those 400 years are going into those 62 weeks of Daniel. Okay. Daniel um, 9. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Those, those, it says um, 70 weeks are fulfilled. Right. 62 is going into the time of the building of the temple. The right. Days of Ezra pretty much. Right. All the way to the time he was born. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. God. God. And I'm going to jump down to verse 34. It says, Ooh. but judgment only shall remain, truth shall stand, and faith shall wear strong, and the work shall follow, and the reward shall be shown, and good deeds shall be the force, and wicked deeds shall bear no rule. But Ooh. going into the point, Conquer you know, death. after he died, all men may have life, and then it will be the fulfillment of everything else afterward when he returns. Because that's what that part is going into, when he dies, and then the, the end, when faith is restored. You know? was, that, was, that chapter from straight gate to kingdom. That's yeah, it. Straight up, that's it. That's straight it. Straight gate to the kingdom. That's, right. That's it, bro. Yeah. Romans, uh, yep, Romans. This is, uh, Romans 5 and verse 11. It says, And not only so, but we are also joy in Yahweh through the, uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shabbat by whom we have now received the atonement. The atonement. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We have now received the atonement. Now, what is the, the, how, what is the meaning of atonement? All right, it says, now this is in the Greek. Somebody look it up in the Hebrew as well. Yeah, about you it Kapar. Um, but it says, uh, I, I'll do it in the Greek. Strong's G 2643, Katalage. Katalage. Exchange of business, of money, changes, exchanging equivalent values, <laughs> an adjustment or a difference, reconciliation or restoration to favor. Okay, and that's what that blood did. It, it, it pretty much made us friends again with the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. right. it, 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 it basically brought an end to enmity. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the differences we, the Father had with us was all fulfilled in that blood. I got it in the Hebrew. 
Go ahead. It's a, a part, like you said, it says to cover, purge, make an atonement, make reconciliation. Woo! Cover over with pitch. All right? To coat or cover with pitch. To cover something up. To cover it up. He to blotted out yeah, our sins. Yeah. To pacify. Propitiate. Man. To cover over. Atone for sin. Mm -hmm. Make atonement for. To cover over. Atone for sin and persons by legal rights. Woo! Yeah. To be covered over, to make an atonement, to be covered. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, because we broke the law. Right. <laughs> right. It covered. Like like somebody gets Psalms 103 and 12, and then somebody get Micah 7 and 19. Oh, I get Micah. Because the scriptures talks about is your sins that separated you from your power. Mm -hmm. So that covering now, you know, the Lord, he, 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 he requires perfection. Mm -hmm. How can we be perfect in these bodies? Predestination. But that's tied to the blood as we started with Revelation 13 and 8, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Go ahead. Psalms 103 and uh, I'll start at 11. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Woo. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Man. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Man. <laughs> man. He sent all his sons out into the world, man. Start with Yahweh Shai. Right. You know what I'm saying? And get and, 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 and see Yahweh Shai to gather them all up. Right. So we can get forever going. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Micah 7 and 9. 9 or it's a lot. You said 19. 19, 19, okay. 19. This is a Micah 7 and 19. It says, he will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. <laughs> thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. See? And then we're able to receive the inheritance outside of the law. That's mercy. That was the, the, the Abraham is the access to the blessing. That's mercy. It's all, but it was all through Melchizedek, Yahweh. It, it always leans back to him. Because we, we were promised rights to that land. Then here it is, we receive a new a covenant. And we, 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 we uh, fell off. We, we we break the covenant. Mm -hmm. So now we can't lie on that. We got to lie on what? That predestination, which is tied to the blood, which is tied to Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's how we get all of these things. Go ahead. This is Hebrews 5, chapter 5. So also Yahweh Shai HaMashiach glorified not himself to be made in high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Mm. You know, that's going into the beginning. You know, when your house I was, you know, created by the Lord, I have begotten you. It says, as he also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, the ancient priesthood. You know, it says, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. And that was the point going into it, you know, how that was ordained from the beginning. That priesthood you may mention of with Melchizedek. Right. You know, thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Right, <clears throat> right. So, I mean, we, let's get 2 Corinthians 5, 21, a few more, and we'll close out. Say 2 Corinthians 5, 21. I got it right here. This is 2 uh, Corinthians 5, 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us mm. who knew no sin that we might be made be right be righteous at the most high in him mm. uh, in the NLT for God made Hamashiach who never sinned to be the offering of our sin so that we could be made right with God through Yahweh Shai and that's how we made right with God through that blood right. you know so I mean there's more scriptures um, but that's pretty much it. We covered it, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Hopefully, I will edify. We're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone, 
Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.